This project is the first project of its kind powering high speed, heavy rail with solar power. It's one of the largest and most ambitious solar projects in a transportation industry. We're offsetting emissions for 53 million passenger miles, which works out to the equivalent of almost 5,000 cars commuting across our bridges in a year's time. In 2017, we did a feasibility study that told us that, hey, a large renewable energy program, specifically solar, would really be beneficial to DRPA, to PACO, and to our customers. And so that's why we undertook it. What was really impressive to me about the DRPA solar program was its scale. Transit agencies or partners may sort of dip a toe in the water and try to do one or two sites. And I really liked the ambition of this program. When I saw the request for proposals, I thought this is the type of partner that I want to be working with because they are they're dreaming big. Right off the bat, half of the power that we use at DRP and PACO to run the trains and to power the buildings and everything else that we do is going to come from a clean, renewable source, the sun. That is going to reduce our carbon footprint. It adds value to everything that we do for our customers. We decided to install solar canopies that are going to produce the most power. And in addition to that, there is an added benefit of providing shade. So on hot days, the cars don't bake in the sun. We've implemented the project at four of our PACO stations, the Betsy Ross Bridge and the Commodore Barry Bridge, as well as in the parking lot of our corporate headquarters in Camden, New Jersey. Over 50,000 high efficiency solar panels were installed across this portfolio. The vast majority of the 22.8 megawatts in the portfolio is high efficiency solar canopies. Over the term of this agreement, these systems will generate over 600 million kilowatt hours. At One Port Center, which is DRPA's headquarters, we had an opportunity to get creative. We have a canopy design that's called dual tilt or dual incline. We channel it that way so that it can capture snow and ice and other precipitation and direct that precipitation towards the groundwater. We orient the vast majority of the canopies towards the south to maximize energy generation. We have one row that orients in the opposite direction. I think of it as a showcase of the technology itself. You know, we're not just after kilowatt hours and capacity. We want to be a showcase for DRPA and for the community. We recognized Total Energy's leadership and talent in this area. They had the highest technically ranked proposal. They showed the financial strength and the talent pool to be able to manage this project for the 20 year life cycle that we expected to run through. Total Energies was a collaborative partner. We worked together to solve problems, to build value for uh, each other, and more importantly, for our customers and for the community. In this project, Total Energies had two roles. One was the development and construction of the projects themselves, and the other is the long-term owner or PPA provider throughout the term of the contract, which is a 20-year term. We are responsible for all operation and maintenance issues with the system. In this way, we are truly a partner with DRPA for the long term. And that means that we only get paid when DRPA saves money. So everyone's riding in the same boat here on this project to make things work and, and to have good outcomes. I think one of the biggest benefits of this project is just showing that it can be done. I mean, we looked for a long time to try and find a really important way to demonstrate our commitment to environmental stewardship. Just being able to lead the way on that is huge for us. It takes us to a place where we've got the ability to save upwards of $12 million guaranteed over the 20 year life of the project. We're committed to working with uh, partners like DRPA to turn their parking lots and other assets into renewable energy power plants, helping them to decarbonize their operations and save money.